Big 12 student athletes again set the stage for our show as West Virginia gymnast Mackenzie Bristol and Texas Tech track and field thrower Ethy Okafor co-host this Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. everybody and welcome inside the Fox Sports Studios for the first Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special of the new year. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Bristol from West Virginia Gymnastics. It's time to begin the review of the 2013 Fall Sports in the Conference beginning with volleyball and it was expected to be another challenging season. The Texas Longhorns came in as the reigning NCAA champions and had several starters returning from that squad. Still several other Big 12 teams were planning on making it a chore for the Horns just to repeat as conference champs. Here's a look back. Texas was picked to win the Big 12 by the coaches, and why not? The Horns brought back a load of talent from the 2012 National Championship team, including closed out the match. Ending the Horn season, it snapped the Texas streak of 10 straight NCAA tournament wins. Next year, the NCAA Volleyball Championships will be staged in the Big 12's backyard at Oklahoma City's Chesapeake Energy Arena. That's also the site of this year's Women's Basketball Championships in March. And I'll be back later in the show to preview the upcoming conference this season. But up next, Ethy Okafor from Texas Tech Track and Field will be here at the desk as we look back on the Big 12 season for cross country and soccer when we return on Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. It is my pleasure to announce the 2013 NCAA Woman of the Year. <laughs> Efi Okafor. Welcome back to the Big 12 Showcase, Women's Sports Special. I'm Efi Okafor from Texas Tech Track and Field. The Big 12 Cross Country stays the first championship event of the 2013-2014 season. The event was held in Waco, Texas, where Iowa State came in as a two-time defending champion and again came in as the top-ranked conference team. But the race for the individual title seemed as wide open as it had in years. Rhiannon Raleigh from the Big 12 Digital Network was in Waco and had the post-race report. I'm coming to you from the Cottonwood Creek Golf Course where the 2013 Big 12 Cross Country Championships just took place. It was an early start to the morning while runners began. Anthony Brown finished 32nd and 37th, respectively. I'm Rhiannon Rowley for the Big 12 Digital Network. Thanks, Rhiannon. Most Big 12 sports now remain indoors from January through March, and the Big 12 championships stretch in late February, with indoor track and field as well as swimming and diving championships staged in the same weekend. Both events wrap up on Sunday, March 1st. Indoor track and field, again, at Iowa State's lead rec center, swimming and diving at Texas. Then just the week afterwards is the Phillips 66 Big 12 Basketball Championship. This year, the women's event is back at Oklahoma City's Chesapeake Energy Arena. Two weeks later, West Virginia holds its first Big 12 championship event, as women's gymnastics will be, will be decided in Morgantown, concluding the Big 12 Indoor Championship. Up next, we head back outside to the soccer pitch, where West Virginia was out to defend its Big 12 title a year ago. And the conference played its first postseason championship at a new venue for the first time in 17 years. Details when we come back on Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. Welcome back to the show. I'm Ethi Okafor, track and field thrower from Texas Tech. We turn our attention now to Big 12 soccer. West Virginia immediately made a statement in the sport last year, its first as a member of the Big 12, by winning the conference regular season. This year, the Mountaineers were picked by the coaches to win the league again, with Texas Tech, Baylor, and Oklahoma State also expected to do well. Here now is a look back. Texas Tech was the big story of the regular season with one of the top defenses in the country, pick shootouts thus concluding the 2013 Big 12 soccer season. That concludes the fall season of sports in the Big 12, but basketball is about to hit mid-season and conference play. 
Baylor is a three-time reigning champ, but is not the team coaches picked to win the league in 2014. Up next, Mackenzie Bristol is here at the desk, and she'll look ahead at the team that is the favorite and who the other contenders will be when we return to Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. Welcome back to the show as we close out our first Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special of the new season. And now we turn to basketball, which begins conference play this week around the league. Joining us now to preview the season is Fox College basketball analyst, Brenda Van Langen in Norman, Oklahoma. Hi, Brenda. Hello, how are you doing? Great, thanks. Now, Brenda, Baylor's the three-time defending regular season champ and again looks strong, but Oklahoma was picked by the coaches to win the league. How wide open is this race? Uh, I think it's a whole new year with that great graduating class leaving from Baylor and also a lot of great seniors that graduated last year. I think it's, it's wide open. But when you look at Baylor, who is the three-time defending champ in the Big 12, you first look at Odyssey Sim. She has already become the all-time assist leader in Baylor history. Uh, Blaskowski and... Bryn Williamson, and then Shauna Johnson as a freshman has been contributing in a big way. So again, they're just reloading up in Ames, Iowa, and I think any one of those six teams has a real shot to win the Big 12 this year. Brenda Van Langen, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to your coverage of the Big 12 women's basketball throughout the year on Fox Sports. Well, that's a wrap for this show. Thanks again to my co-host, Evie Okafor from Texas Tech. And don't forget to follow Big 12 Women's Sports week to week to catch Big 12 Showcase each week right here on Fox Sports. And for daily coverage, be sure to log on to Big12Sports.com. I'm Mackenzie Bristol. Thanks for watching today. Have a safe and happy new year in 2014.